Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everyone to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well, I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way back to Tim Pine's Bluff. But before we do, let's go into our Pip-Boy. I have gained four levels from, again, building up Sanctuary, so be sure you're keeping on top of that. We're going to put all four levels into Agility. If we get another level, we're going to put it into Armor, because that's going to help us immensely. We're getting into where we're finding more enemies that are tougher, so just be prepared. Things are going to get a little tougher from here on out. Let's crouch. We're going to hop down here. We could go down that way, but there's some enemies. And if we don't have to fight them, we don't need to. Need to. Excuse me. Got a hiccup. All right. And then we'll hop down this way. You can loot over there if you'd like. I'm not going to. We're going to make our way down this road. Off to the left, we have uh, the Lexington Apartments. We're going to kind of walk by them, discover them real quick. If you'd like to go in there and loot everything, feel free. There we go. Lexington Apartments. Oh, we're, we're almost halfway to gaining another level. Sweet. Yeah, we should probably gain at least one more level. Yeah, up there, there's some enemies. I, I'm not sure if they're fighting each other uh, like it's bandits or, or raiders find it, finding uh, fighting each other or if they're fighting ghouls. But you want to be careful. There's another spot over here. All right, we're almost to our destination to where we're going to make a pit stop here. We're going to go to Mystic Pines. We're actually going to uh, get a get a magazine. It's going to be another uh, Tales of a Junk Town jerky vendor, which is a mouthful to say. Say that five times fast. Right here. Hell yeah. There we go. And, by the way, we can stand up. It's not a big deal. I'm going to pick up these Nuka-Colas, and then we're just going to make our way around uh, the whole Mystic Pines kind of complex. Let's unlock this door really fast. Got it. Then we'll make our way downstairs and pick up a Fusion Core. For those of you that are really into Power Armor, you should have quite a few Fusion Cores. Plus, we had got that bobblehead to make uh, fusion cores drain 10% slower. Let's unlock this door as well. Nice. All right. Get some stim packs and rat away. All good stuff. Um, There's really not that much to loot in here, but there's still stuff. We're going to head out of here. We don't have anything else to get. Our next stop is going to be a like dump, like a trash dump or something like that. Not really a junkyard, per se, but we're going to have a ton of mole rats, and I believe there's always a settler kind of fighting them off over there. Either it's a random event or it always happens, but um, as far as I know, it always happens. And you can get 50 caps if you keep that settler alive, but that's easier said than done. So you want to kind of stay right next to the settler and be killing the mole rats. Because I believe there's going to be some glowing ones mixed in with just regular old mole rats. Oh, uh, well, we just shot the settler, so that sucks. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't shoot the settler, because then he's going to attack you. That sucks. Well, rip. It's just 50 caps, though. I would have liked them, but it's only 50 caps. Quit 
Quit screaming. I'm not even shooting you anymore. Bastard. Where'd that other mole rat go? There he is. Okay. Let's try to get some, uh... Our critical built up here. Ugh. I hate when the glowing mole rats bite me because they uh, cause radiation damage. Alright, we're going to have a few more pop up now. Nice. Maybe. Okay, I was like, maybe we're going to have a few more pop up. <laughs> I was going to say, come on. <laughs> I'm at point blank range here. Uh, some buff out. I don't know where the settler went. Poor guy probably died because I shot the shit out of him. I didn't mean to shoot him. Try not to shoot him. Uh, you can get 50 caps. And I don't think he gives you any experience for helping him, but 50 caps isn't that bad. It helps. All right, let's continue making our way uh, down this road. We're going to veer off slightly to the right. And then right before that blue car, we're going to make a left between the two uh, power lines here. And then we're going to go to, I think it's Wildwood. Yeah, Wildwood uh, Cemetery. All right. Just gonna follow the path along. Dog meat keeps running in front of me. I don't care, dog meat. Go find it, fetch it, hang on to it. If we come to the right side of the tree, we can get total there hack. This is our first total hack uh, magazine. It allows us to uh, hack uh, turrets. I was gonna say terminals. <laughs> we can already hack terminals. Uh, hack turrets, so we can turn them to our side and have them shoot our enemies. Gonna follow this around. Come up to the road again. I don't know. Dog meat's still bot. Uh, still barking. Let's just top ourselves off. Be careful. There, this little intersection is kind of a spawn for some random events. So you never know what's gonna happen. Super mutants could spawn. Uh, mongrels. Uh, NPCs, you name it. It's just one of those random spawn locations, random event locations or whatever. What is going on over here? Oh, Mr. Gutsy. Oh, damn. Wish it wasn't a Mr. Gutsy. I really dislike how scavengers are always hostile to you. Like, I've never found where scavengers are not hostile. Alright. Let's just go over here and loot some stuff. Loot some stuff of stuff. Oh, we got a Protectron over here. Let's, let's take out the uh, Protectron real quick. After grabbing these 38 rounds. Um, there we go. <laughs> See ya! Be careful. Sometimes Protectrons will just explode on your ass. And you'll get an unnecessary death. Which sucks. But, you know. Grab these 10 millimeter rounds. And then what we're gonna do is grab this magazine. This is Astoundingly Awesome Tales. Perfect. This is going to give us 5% damage against Mirelurks. 
Um, the mirrors, nothing. You don't like me today. All right, let's uh grab the flight recorder. And we'll go into our inventory and play uh, Skyline Flight 1981 recording. Boston Towers, Skylanes 1981. Acknowledge, over. Damn it, what's going on? Boston Tower, Skylanes 1891. Lost engines. We're we're breaking up. There! Aim for the road! Pull up! Pull up! Okay, so we're gonna kinda head down this pathway. Where we're heading you're going to want to be very, very careful because there is going to be a raider with a fat man that's going to be shooting mini nukes at us. And that is not fun. That is not fun at all. Um, you can die very easily because at the level that we're at and the armor that we have, we can die to a mini nuke instantly. It's, it's just a, it's, it's an instant death. So when we get to that point, I'll let everybody know, do a quick save, and I'm probably going to do a quick save as well, um, just because I, I die here too. Like, no matter what, every time I play, I at least die once or twice. Um, so let's hope that I don't die. But I am going to do a quick save. I know there's a raider over here somewhere. Really? Whatever, dog meat. Have at it, bud. Have at ye. Let's unlock this explosive Show your box. Face. Come on. Sweet. Sweet. We got a. Uh, yeah, exactly. Sweet. I dare you. We got some frag grenades. That is good. Drop dead already. Is he a ghoul? He looks like a ghoul. I think that's a ghoul raider. It is. Nice. Oh, and we got a fucking uh combat rifle. I love combat rifles in Fallout. Fallout 4, that is. Alright, so let's do a quick save real quick. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our 10mm pistol on. And we're going to slowly make our way up this embankment. And we're going to circle around. We do not want to go through the front. Because we will most definitely die if we go through the front. Uh, we want to take out the raider with the mini nuke, which let's just top ourselves off. Um, even though, like, if if we got hit by the mini nuke, we'd be dead. It doesn't matter if we are topped off on health or not. But we want to be very careful. This ledge right here, right over there, is the raider that i'm talking about and he has power armor Whoa, excuse me he has power armor nothing there now what do you think i don't know jumping at shadows yeah you're probably oh. right um <laughs> shit Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You hear that whistling? Run. Just run. Run for dear life. Looks like he's doing the same thing. Even though he's the one with the mini nuke. Or the mini nuke. With the fucking fat man. Get 
Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting nervous here. Let's go. He's over here somewhere. We want to be careful. Tired yet? Where did Boomer go? <coughs> did he like run off into the distance? Oh, no, I was like, could he legit just take the fuck off on us? <laughs> like, nope. All right, so here's our first fat man. Um, we'll grab this 10 millimeter pistol. If you're into the Raider armor, scoop that up now. Uh, Raider armor. Raider armor, that's power armor, that is. Go ahead and scoop that up. So the whole reason we came over here, by the way... Is for this magazine. Excellent. This will let us do 5% more damage at night. Pretty sweet magazine. Mm, did I loot? Nope. Didn't loot that guy. Alright, let's uh, grab our pipe pistol back out. We don't really want to use our 10 millimeter as much. Just yet. Eventually we'll be using that more. Uh, but for now, the pipe pistol is just fine. Ooh, fusion cores. Nice. I think that was fusion cores. We're gonna come down this pathway here. And we're gonna follow it down till we get to the railroad tracks. Follow the railroad tracks down just a short ways. And then we're gonna head up to Tim Pines Bluff. Oh, and I think we're going to have enough time to go to the Thicket Excavations. That house also has random events, which I think is happening right now. Yep. Alright, well, there was a random event happening right there, but I was a little late to it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> Let's not die. <laughs> that would suck if I died right now. Seriously. Like, oh, I went through the hardest part and I died to, you know, a legendary. Nah. Yeah. Not anything that I want. Um, sometimes you can find a body in there. Um, you know, again, it's just random events. Over there, um, towards the... Uh, train cars. There's some power armor. Feel free to scoop that up if you'd like. For now, we're just going to head up top. Go talk to uh, the settlers at Tim Pines Bluff, and then we will make our way to the Thicket excava uh, Excavations. And then after that, I guess we'll... Um, not in the video, but go talk to Preston. Let him know that we helped out these settlers. And then we'll end the video. Which I think we're about to get another level. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, man. Uh, hello? <clears throat> you find those raiders? <laughs> I clicked it like four times. Yeah, we kicked their asses, bud. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You are welcome. Let's grab a few Tato plants here. Seems to be here. growing well. I think six should be fine. Right, that was six, two, four, five, yeah, six. Yep. All right, so again, we're gonna head southwest towards the big old um, sign over there, the billboard. We will see that Thicket Excavations 
has changed quite a bit. But that's okay. Again, you don't have to do this. Um, and I say again, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you in the first place. But you don't have to go and um, do thicket excavations. You're not going to miss out on anything. It's just extra experience and me showing off what happens to thicket excavations after you help uh, Soli Mathis. I think it's Mathis. Um, drain the, the quarry here. Let's go ahead and crouch. As you can tell, we already see a change. Up. Got him. Pop, pop, motherfucker. You can go in here, loot all this stuff again. I'm not going to bother. Uh, we already did. I'm still going to loot a few things, but mm, it's not really worth uh, looting everything through here again. At least in my personal opinion. Let's sneak hey, up on this guy. Oh, or now, not. I swear, my sneak <laughs> should be better. Considering I found uh, one of those sneaking magazines... The U.S. Covert Manual or whatever. Um, and my agility's up. And my uh, actual sneak skill is up. It's like they just automatically see me. I'm like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be a sneaky boy anyways. Be careful. There are a, a ton of raiders here. Oh, pff, completely missed. I gave him a firework, everybody. Huh? They were probably like, yeah. What the? Hmm? I swear. Uh, don't use a stim pack, sir. Trying to murder you. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat out. Ah, uh, almost. There's a dog. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's because I shot you in the motherfucking face. <laughs> Is that why you can't see? <laughs> Same. Bastard. There we go. Oh, nice. And we got a level. Let's go ahead and put that level in. I mean, we could wait, but why? Uh, we're going to put it in armor. Oh, that autosave lag. My lord. Look at all those raiders over there. Let's see if we can huh? hit them all. Oh, nice. All three of them. What? Come on. Just die, sir. <laughs> or lady. Madam. I guess they were sirs. Oh, nice. This dog has uh, armor. We can put that on dog meat. Dog meat can actually wear armor, and I think that's really cool. And he'll actually last longer in a fight. Because, I mean, you can put armor on your companions. Why not uh, your dog? What the hell? There's so many of these guys, too. What? 
<laughs> Where did this grenade come from? Probably from down here. I'm going to assume. Where'd that little fucker go? Oh, I'm coming for you. Just give me a minute. Damn, I can't believe we got all three of these raiders with one grenade. That was pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Probably the highlight of the video. Just saying. <laughs> that wasn't conceited, Mr. Wayne, was it? Continue making our way down this quarry here. Oh wow, there's two of them over there. Be glad you got me around the water. What the fuck was that? Get down! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving using these grenades. I'm I'm Thought I... not even kidding. <laughs> this is um Yeah, we'll grab that. Why not? Just noise. Just noise. Oh, was it I don't know. I don't know. Pretty sure there's somebody else over here. I heard them. Ah, uh, there they are. Oh. Shoot you in the ass. Ooh, nice. It's a pretty sweet grenade to have. Oh. At least, um, for certain enemies. Pulse grenades are good for robots. Uh, cryo grenades are usually good for any kind of like humanoid um, enemy. Well, any enemy that's like an animal or human. Um, and regular grenades and molotovs are just good against everything. What the hell was that? Come up these stairs. Come here, you some bitch. Die. I missed like so many damn shots trying to be cool. Gotta be. Um, let's put on our Molotov cocktails here. Pretty sure I killed the person right over here, right? Oh. Yeah, they were just hiding. Yeah, I'm still kicking. Playing games with me, huh? No, you're playing games with me. No sign of them now. I just think it's cool, if I'm being honest, that what's that noise? We did all this, and then the guy was actually a raider, so we helped raiders establish themselves. Ugh. He moved. Be careful. He's got a skull over his head, meaning that he's a tougher enemy. Think I'm scared, huh? Try not to let the Meyer Lurks out, or you're going to have even more of a problem. Light him up. I, I can't see. No, do not use your stim pack, you son of a bitch. <coughs> Actually, I don't know if you're a son of a bitch. Your mother could have been a saint. You won't just run, right? <laughs> <laughs> the way he died. Oh, good lordy. Ooh, combat rifle. That's what I'm talking about. What are you barking at there, dog meat? Yes, I was coming over here. Be patient. And then we have a little bit of loot here, some jet. So, like I said, you don't have to come down here if you don't want to. You can kill all these, too, if you want. Oh, what? Um, yes, please. <coughs> Did I? I fucking <laughs> hurt myself. In the process. Awesome. Awesome, Mr. Wayne. Um, quit running away from me.
Come back here. All right. They're just going to huddle up over there. Fine. Sweet. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All that for a laser musket. <sighs> like I said, you don't have to kill the... Uh... Oh, come on. Did I really just do this to myself? All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to fast travel back to um, Sanctuary. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot and I jumped down. That's why. So I'll see everybody in just a second. All right. Got Sanctuary built up quite a bit more. Like I said, um, you don't have to build up Sanctuary. I'm not trying to force anybody, but it does help level-wise. And I know that I keep saying that, but I mean it. It really does help uh, level up a, a little bit. So, like, even if it's just, like, three or four extra levels, you know, it's, it's always beneficial. Let's go ahead and talk to Preston Garvey here. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minute Men out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minute Men. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minute Men to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers, the people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. 
Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. All right. <laughs> There's nothing like having a stare off with Preston Garvey. <laughs> oh, man, that's so annoying. All right, let's go up here and we're going to end the video. I would like to start with telling everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. It helps me become a better content creator, you know, and lets me know what it's what I'm doing wrong. Also, if you enjoy this channel, please hit the subscribe button. But until next time, everybody, again, thank you and have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.